Hello and welcome everyone to part 2 of this mo uh, modeling in Abacus uh, tutorial. If you missed part 1, I will link that in the, in the description as well. So yeah, so in part 1 we created this part in our three part assembly. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to create the other two parts just to finish our parts creation. So this is going to be a relatively short tutorial because the other two parts are fairly simple. The first one is going to be a modification of the original one that we have here and the next one is just going to be a hinge which is essentially just a little bit of a rod. Um, so yeah, then after that we can go into um, defining the assembly and defining contact and stuff like that. So the next tutorial should be a bit more extensive. But okay, let's get into this part. So yeah, so Okay, so this is the assembly we want to end up with, which we can analyze. So we, in the first part, we created this uh, one, let's call it on the left there, with a little bit of a grease hole. And now we're going to create the second one, which doesn't have a grease hole, and the hinge or pin in the middle. Instead of creating a modifying, well, creating this part from scratch, we're going to take the first hinge piece and just copy it and alter its features slightly. Okay, so let's get into that. So first thing we want to do is want to copy the hinge parts. So we can right click on hinge hole and we can say copy. Then uh, this thing comes up. We instead of one naming it hinge hole, we j are just going to name it hinge solid. In this case, uh, compress features, no scale pod, we're going to keep it the same size and mirror it, uh, not in this case, separate as connected, it's just, it's just options for when you are copying it, if you want to create second parts of it, like what, to be mirrored or stuff, but in this case we're just going to keep it like that. We are going to orientate the part in the assembly instead of creating a drawn part that fits into, fit, well, that aligns to this one we have here. Okay. So we're going to copy it, name it hinge solid, and there we are. Now, what we want to do is we want to obviously remove the um, hinge hole for f for a first step. Uh, you'll see if you want if you're wondering which part you are looking at, seeing as our two parts are identical, you can look here. It says hinge hole, which is showing the hinge hole part, and hinge solid shows the hinge solid part. So if you can't find which part you're looking at, just select there from the viewport. Okay, so now the copy is there, now we want to modify it. Okay, so first thing we want to do is, well, delete the hinge hole, as I've said. So what you do is you go expand the part, or expand parts, then the hinge solid one, just to make sure you are expanding or looking at the subtree items of the correct part. It has happened to me quite often that you edit the wrong thing, so please be careful. Okay, so now we are going to go to features and okay, so how up Abacus works is if you want to delete something, if you want to, it works like it's in some, somewhat of a tier system. So if something is dependent on something else down the line, if you delete the topmost thing, everything else gets deleted because their references are all gone. Just so some FYI for you. Okay, so now if I'm going to click on datum point one, uh, we will see that datum point one hi is highlighted there. So that is our datum point one over there. So you'll remember that is the first point we made when we wanted to define the hinge. Okay, so now we can right click on this. And we can say either suppress or delete. So suppress is a little bit like delete, but it's not exactly the same. So suppress is, it keeps it there, keeps it all the information there, but it's not used in the model per se. So when it's nice to use that for, for example, boundary conditions. If you want to, let's say, for example, keep a pin in the middle of a beam at some instances and remove it and see if the beam can span over the support or some, something like that. So if you want different or different loads or whatever, you can turn them on off as needed. In this case, we don't need to, need to turn it off. We can just delete the datum point. Now you'll see this pops up. So Abacus asks us now, remember what I said, it's like a tiered system. So if you delete the topmost thing in the 
in the let's call it tree then everything else along with that gets deleted as well so this datum point was the first thing we made and from there on we created the whole so everything down that line abacus asks you if we delete the features and their children so the children of that datum feature is everything that's uh, shown in red and in this case we can say yes because we want to delete that hinge part and voila our hinge hole is deleted so just to uh, reiterate everything that's dependent on that datum point then gets deleted um, also as a side note if you delete something it's gone you can't recover it uh, permanently but if you want to just hide it or not have it present rather use the suppress feature okay and that's pretty much it for this uh, hinge solid so it's the same thing as the previous one just without the pin or the hole sorry the next part we are going to create the pin that goes into the middle so just to show you what I mean the pin is the pin that sticks in between these two parts okay so we are going to create the pin there are in abacus and most modeling softwares there are more than one way to skin a cat so you can either um, draw a circle and extrude it or in this case just because it's something different I'm going to show you the revolve shell um, option okay so to do that we need to create a new part because it's a different part in our model so we're going to say create a new part in this case we're going to name it pin and it's also going to be a 3d because all models are 3d elements and because we don't want to really have a pin do anything specific, we are going to make it analytical rigid. And now you can see if it's a rigid element, what that means is it's not going. It's a lot stiffer than anything else in the model. So uh, it's like a rigid element is basically an well. In a short description, it effectively links two nodes together because it's so stiff. So it doesn't bend or deflect, it just transfers loads. Um, yeah, so the pin is just going to be a very stiff thing that links our two hinges in this case. So there's two ways to do it. You can do the extruded shell or a revolved shell. Uh, we're going to click revolved shell and set our approximate size as 0 0.2 and go to the drawing board. Okay, so from the sketch, we are going to, as we are revolving, we're not going to draw a circle. We are going to sketch a vertical line uh, to the right of the axis. So we're going to start, let's say, somewhere over here. And we're going to draw the vertical line somewhere there. And we are going to say enter sorry not enter I'm gonna say escape because we want our line to be there okay and now since the line is there we can dimension it to the axis so when you see this vertical axis is uh, indicated as green because this is the point around which our um, part is going to revolve so everything we um, draw next to that is going to be revolved around that line so that's why to get the size of the pin it's a good idea to dimension uh, from this green line so i'm going to dimension from the green line to that line to there and it's going to be 0 0.012 in this case and the vertical length of the line we can also dimension going to make the line 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.06 long so it's twice as long as what we've had and that's pretty much what we want to do so done dimensioning and we are uh, done with the sketch so you can say done and woof there sits our uh, pin just we can rotate around it to see it's hollow which is what we want so you'll see the line that we've created there is just revolved around this axis which is now yellow so it's important everything you draw from that line gets well revolved around the axis okay 
Now moving on, we want to assign uh, the rigid body reference point. So yeah, we need to assign a reference point to the pin uh, because we will not be assigning mass or rotary inertia to the pin. The rigid body reference point can be placed anywhere in the viewport. Yeah, and we will use the load model to apply constraints to the reference point or to define its motion if we want it to um, move. Okay, so yeah, so we can either select the reference point or just pick anything else. So just to define our reference point, let me just exit my rotation now. So from the main menu, we can go to Tools and create a reference point. And it asks, Abacus asks us to create the reference point. So in my case, I'm just going to click the top point of the line there. In this case, it doesn't matter which point you choose as long as you have a reference point. And you'll see Abacus named it RP. Just to note that the reference point has been assigned to it. Okay, yeah, and that is our, well, two parts created. For the next step we're going to do in the next tutorial is to create our assembly. And I'll also link that video in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. And